hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video you are going to learn an amazing tool called flash fill flash fill is a feature where excel analyzes the data that you have entered and fills the data in the cells based on the pattern that it has identified for example let's say you want to combine these first names which are in column a with last names in column b I want to combine them and put them in column C or want to extract username from these email arrays which are in column E or extract numbers hidden inside a big string of data or if you have a column of dates entered in improper way and want to fix it and bring it to a right format. You don't have to know complex formulas and functions and no need to do any coding with macros. Actually flash fill does this really super fast and you can save a lot of time. Before we start, let me tell you, this feature was initially introduced in Microsoft Office 2013 version and is made available in all the later versions of Excel. So if you are using an older version like Excel 2010 and before, you won't be able to use this feature. Alright, here I have created many examples which will give you an idea about different scenarios where you can use flash fill. But there is lot much more you can do apart from these examples when you try using this tool in your work area. So let's start with our first example. Here you see column A has first name, column B has last name. Let's say you want full name in column C that is combining the first name with the last name with maybe a space in between them. So instead of writing any formulas or any kind of other techniques, I just tell what exactly I want to excel. So I write 9C space Devolio. This is the first name, this is the last name and I hit enter. And now in the next rows, I need the other names combined. All right. So what I do now is just press one keyboard shortcut here. And the keyboard shortcut is Control and E. Hey, there you go. You could see all the data in column A and column B has been analyzed. And in column C, you see the full name of these. So do you see this is amazing? You don't have to write any formulas and your work is done. Now that you saw an example, let's see some more examples and also see the other ways to apply flash fill tool. In this example, column E has email IDs. In column F, I just want the username. If you see in the row 4, you have the username Nancy Devolio. So I want it. The username to come something like this Nancy space Devolio. Here you could see the first letters I have made it as capitals, whereas in my source data I don't have. I had a dot here which I don't need here, and I don't want that website name. So it has to clean up all that and just bring me the username here. Right? So in the previous example, we saw the shortcut. Now let's see an other method. This method is using a tool available in one of the tab in the ribbon. So to access that, so click anywhere inside that column. Click on data tab. Under data, you find data tools group and the flash fill icon has a small lightning bolt over here, all right? Just go click on that. There you go. You could see the entire column is filled with 
usernames. This was pretty simple, right? Now let's see another way. In this example, I just need the first names from this employee name column which is there in H. So I just need Nancy here. The third way here is applying flash fill as you type. So I'll just write and review. Oh, look at that. The moment I started A, which is the start letter of the next name, you could see Excel is suggesting or flash fill is suggesting, hey, this is what you want for the next names. If you think that you wanted the first names to be captured, you just have to press enter here. There you go. So I did not apply any shortcut nor I used any tool. I got the first names in this column perfectly. And now I would like to also update you this way of using flash fill can be enabled or disabled. Right now it's enabled, right? Let's see how to disable this. Let me just remove these first names, delete. So to disable this option, I'll be accessing file. Under file, I'll go to options. Under options, you find advanced. Under this advanced tab, you find an option enable autocomplete for cell values. Within that, you have automatically flash fill, which is right now enabled. Now, if I uncheck this and click OK, now let's see whether flash fill as you type will work or not. Let me type and reef. No, it is not suggesting. Let me type Janet. No, it's not working. So, this is a way you can disable it. And if it is disabled, you can just go back to the same option and enable it as well. Let me quickly enable it now. Go to File, go to Options, go to Advanced, and just bring back the tick which was removed earlier. I click OK. Now let us try whether this is working. So write Nancy. Now write and Trave. Yes. So it has brought the flash fill as you type option back. Let's see another way now. Let us bring last name this time. So I want W. Uh, you already know what is fill handle, right? We use this fill handle in our previous parts for using the autofill feature. So I'll use the fill handle. So I go here to the fill handle, click and drag. So I just click and drag till where I want. So I just save the button. When I click and drag, the feature which is enabled is autofill, but I don't need autofill here, right? What I need is flash fill. You go to this tiny button on the right bottom corner of the selection and you click on the arrow and you see along with the other options what we have discussed earlier, there is an option called flash fill here. Now if I click on that, you see the flash fill is enabled here. So this is the other way. Let's move to one more way. This time, let's create an email ID in column K using the first names and last names of these employees. So, I'll just write the first email ID. So, I'll write nancy.devolio at xlismagical.com. Right? Now, I press enter. Now, again, I go to fill handle, but this time, I'll not use left mouse button. I'll use the right mouse button and then drag this. When you do this, you get a pop-up which suggests you for so many things but one of the options there is flash fill. So I just go there and click. There you go. Flash fill has done its work. So, use are five different ways to do flash fill. Let us recall them. Number one, using the keyboard shortcut Control E using the flash fill on the ribbon actually you find flash fill on both data and home tab applying flash fill as you type using flash fill while dragging with fill handle and the last one was dragging with right mouse button so that's it in this video but actually we are still not done with flash fill as the video length was quite big for flash fill 
I decided to split this into two videos. So in the next video, I will take you through examples where flash fill can be a lifesaver in Excel. And also I will be discussing about the limitations of flash fill as well in that video. Thanks for watching. And if you have liked this video, give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Excel is Magical. I am going to see you in the next part of Flash Film.